Hello everyone, welcome to my structural analysis tutorial section. Today I'm going to talk about how can we use more circle to find the moment of inertia of an area about a rotator axis. Let's see how can we do this. For example, we have a an area. We have an area. Okay. Suppose that we know. Uh, suppose that we know. Suppose that i x x, i y y, i x y are given. It's a number. Okay. And then uh, we want to rotate this uh, x x and y y axis by an angle, okay, theta and clockwise to x prime x prime. How can we find out? Okay, i x prime x prime, and then uh. For example, we have another perpendicular axis, okay? Call let's say call it y prime y prime. Okay, how about x prime y prime? Okay, and also i y prime y prime. Okay. So the techniques that I'm going to talk about is called more circle. More circle basically uh, has a lot of application. We can use it in stress analysis. Uh, here I'm putting uh, my focus is about moment of inertia. First of all, how can we do this? The construction is pretty standard. First of all, the first thing you do is okay. The first step is find out two points. The point is i x x together with i x y, and then and also i y y together with negative i x y. So first of all, you need to construct these two points in this very special plan this plan is formed by uh, i x x or i y y the coordinate and also i x y uh, let's see uh, for example okay the i x x is larger than i y y and i x y is positive so we need to indicate i x x it doesn't matter okay if i y y is larger than i x i x x then you just need to re 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 move re re I mean uh, change the position okay let's say ixy is positive so let's say it's here and then uh, it pops ix is here and then ixy negative ixy is here okay this is negative ixy and then we connect uh, these two point this two point okay we will intersect with this point and this point is the centroid okay the coordinate of this point basically is a uh, one half i x x plus i l y y, and then we use this uh center uh the center and also this radius, this radius to draw a circle, and we call this circle more circle. Oops, my circle is very ugly. I'm sorry, my circle is very ugly. Okay, and to draw a circle. So how can we find out this radius? This radius is pretty simple. We can you know that this and this the height of this the height is i x y right and this distance is one half okay the difference between i x y i x x and i y y i I say i x x is larger minus i y y alright so okay. So the radius of the circle is simply i x y square plus one half and then i x x minus i y y square and then square root. Okay, then we will form a circle. We will form a circle like this. Okay, this is a uh, better drawing and then I uh, will intersect uh, the circle in general will intersect with two points this, this point and this point we call them okay I minor okay uh, moment of inertia about the minor principal axis and also this one moment of inertia about the major principal axis. 
So let's say I want to rotate this uh, coordinate system by theta and decrease. How can I do this? The second the step we need to do, we need to execute is pretty simple. First of all, I need to find out i x x first. I x x okay. And then we rotate this point about center by two theta. Okay, two theta. This angle is two theta. Then it's done. Okay. okay. I x prime x prime can be found. You uh by uh rotate I x x about center. Okay, with two theta, or or you may use pole methods. Okay, what is pole method? First of all, you need to find out the pole. The pole is something like this. This is i x x y. You draw a line parallel to this x x uh, plane, and then you uh, copy and paste this x prime x prime. When move it, move the line, pass through the this pole point. We call this, we call this pole. And then you cut a line. This is x prime, x prime. Okay. This is the this is the value that we, we need to find. Okay. I think this uh the drawing here is better. So we have i x x i x y and i y y and negative i x y. And then we construct. A circle using uh, this cent uh, this center and also the radius here, and then if you if you like to use a uh, okay, rotate about the center, okay, you can rotate two theta and find out the value. One thing you need to be, uh, be careful is that okay, if okay, you you want to rotate about whole point. Okay, we use theta on it. Okay, so if you if you want to use center, then you use, use two theta. Okay, let's do let's try to do some example together. Okay, suppose that okay, uh, let's say uh, i x x is uh, for example eighteen, and then uh, i y y is ten, and then i x y is uh, negative three. Okay, let's find. Let's try. Let's construct the the the, the more circle first. Okay, first of all, you need to draw the coordinate system. I x y, and then uh, this one. I x x or i y y. Doesn't matter. So in this example, i x x is larger than i y y. So this is eighteen. i y y is ten. And then uh, i x y is negative 3, you need to know that ixy is always paired with ixx. If ixy is negative, it means that it's somewhere around here. Okay, and then uh, negative ixy is positive, somewhere around here. Okay, and then we connect these two, uh, these two points. Pass through a center, the center is uh, 14, 10 plus 18, divided by 2. And then uh, this is this is three, this is four, so this is five. The radius of the circle is five, and uh, so we can form a form a form a more circle like this. Oops, Let's do something like this. My circle is very bad. Okay. So the major, okay, the moment of inertia about the major principal axis is uh, this is five. So this is five plus fourteen is nineteen, and uh, this is nine. All right. Let's say let's say uh the coordinate system is like this. Okay, x and y. Okay, whatever. This is the shape. Okay, and then we're gonna rotate this. Okay, by a uh, clockwise theta. And uh, equals to forty degree. So what we need to do is that first of all we need to find out i x x first. Okay, find i x x first, and then rotate this i x x 
respect to center, center by two feet up. I think 80 degrees, something like this. This is 80 degree. Okay. Clockwise. So how can we find out this the coordinate of this value? This of this value. Mm, the first thing we need to do is to find out this angle first. This angle. This angle is uh this is three, this is four. Okay. This angle is R tangent. Three over four. Basically is uh, three over four R tangent is uh, thirty six degree. 36.9 degree so this angle is uh, 180 minus 80 degree and minus 36.9 is 63.1 degree 63.1 degree all right so how can we find out this i x prime x prime okay uh we need to know that okay this the coordinate okay this coordinate okay is equal to this minus this okay so i x prime x prime is equal to the centroid the, cent the coordinate of the centroid which is uh 14 minus this little distance you know that this is the radius of the circle is 5 so 5 cosine 63.1 degree this is simply uh, Eleven point seven. All right. So how about I x prime y prime? I x prime y prime is uh. I x prime y prime is the height of this. Okay, it's negative five sine sixty three point one degree. Because the coordinate here is negative, we need to put the negative here. Negative five times sixty three point one is simply uh, negative four point four six. All right. How about i y prime y prime? The i y prime y prime is uh, somewhere around here. Okay. The coordinate of this point. Okay. This is simply uh, fourteen plus this the distance okay 5 cosine 63.1 degree is equal to 14 plus 5 times cosine 63.1 is a uh, 16.3 okay so that is okay now uh, let's do more some uh, some special question let's say I give you uh, I x x is equal to 10 and then uh, i y y is equal to 2 and then uh, i x y equals to let's say 10 let's quickly draw the more circle this is i x y and this is i y y i x y is larger than i y y this is 10 and this is 2 all right and then uh, i x y is 10 is positive is here and then uh, this is here okay the center of this somewhere around here okay, okay. So this is uh, 6, this is 4, 4, and this is 10. The radius of this uh, circle is 10 squared plus 4 squared, and then square root 10.8. If you draw the most circle, you draw the most circle, okay, you will find that okay, the circle is right, is right back. And if you draw it here, something like this okay you will find that okay the minor principal axis okay is uh, this is six minus this negative four plus something negative four point eight okay it's negative number okay doesn't okay that doesn't make sense okay doesn't make sense because i x x I will write should always larger than zero. This, by definition, the, this is the integration of y squared dA, and this is the integration of x squared dA. They should 
as long as the area is not zero, they should always larger than strictly larger than zero. So if you find something negative, it means that okay, this geometry doesn't exist. Okay, this geometry doesn't exist. There is no such uh, geometry that satisfies this condition. Okay. Which is not that obvious if I don't tell you about this kind of constraint, okay? And uh, there are some special cases. Let's say we have a. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's see. Let's say okay. We do some special quick question. Okay. Let's say we have a square with a side of a. And then uh, this is a uh, uh, let's say this pass through central, okay. And now uh, this is x x, and now uh, this is y y. First of all, you need to realize that i x x is equal to one over twelve. A times a cube is a uh, is a power of four and twelve, and this is also equal to i y y. We have two symmetry, two to symmetry. Okay, i x y is equal to zero. First of all, symmetrical shape. Okay, i x y by definition is equal to the double integration of x y times d a. If I choose a d a here, I can always choose another d a with the same height but in different x, so they can cancel each other. So i x y is zero. Okay. So this is a very special case. Okay, for symmetrical structure. You'll find that okay, i x x is equal to i y y and i x y is zero. So if you draw a Mohs curve, if you draw a Mohs curve, you draw a Mohs curve, you'll find that okay, this Mohs curve is just a point, and this value is a q a to the power four divided twelve. A to the power of four to the top. Okay, so what I mean is that this is just a point. No matter how you rotate, let's say you rotate this uh, by an arbitrary angle, x prime, x prime. Okay, okay, not necessarily forty five degree. Okay, sixty degree, whatever. You will still get this uh, i x prime x prime equals to a to the power of four to the top. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Okay, let me give you an example. Alright, let's talk about some uh, some special question. For example, uh, I have uh, the shape like this, and also the something like this, okay, and also something like like, like, like this. Let's pretend that these uh, triangles, okay, are identical, okay. They just rotate the by a degree, a degree, and a degree, okay. First of all, we need we need to know that okay, this uh, axis. So this is x x and this is y y. Okay. Let's say I give you uh, uh i x x is equal to two. Okay. You, need to, you need to immediately tell me that i y y is also equal is also equal to two, and also i x y is equal to zero. And I, no matter how I rotate the axis, okay. Let's say this is x prime x prime. No matter which axis, okay. The i x prime x prime i y prime y prime will be equals and equals to two, and uh, i x prime y prime is equal to two. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like my video, please subscribe it or uh, press the like button.